Hey everyone, welcome back again. So I hope all are doing well. So I have come with the continuation of the previous topic, which was concept of product delivery system with the part two. So we spoke half of the part, which I made as a presentation. Now the other half, today we'll see what rest of the parts are. What we were discussing last time was we completed this, 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 this and we completed till advantages, right? So let's start with mechanism of micro addition. I will go through not so quickly, but I'll try to cover it up as soon as possible. Okay, so let's start. So this mechanism of micro addition. So we were clear in the previous topic, I guess, if it was not clear, then I'll try to make that video again if anybody wants it, okay? So mechanism of mucoaddition. addition. Mucoaddition, addition, we know that muco means mucosal layer and addition means whatever stick to the mucosal layer. So the combined word is called as muco addition. We are talking here specifically on drugs okay so remember that we are not talking about any other substances our doses form which is buccal drug delivery system we are specifically talking about buccal drug delivery system on the effect of that doses form on mucoadhesion okay so on a mechanism how this drug is going to act and how we are going to know so this will come with mechanism of mucoadhesion so stage one stage one okay so just look at the picture on the right side okay what you can see uh, this part the first part what you can see here this part so look at this layer okay this particular layer so this layer this is a part of your mucosal layer okay or you can see here mucous membrane okay this this whole part is the mucous membrane okay right now this part you have considered as drug material uh, you can see as a chain right so we'll talk later what these chains are there so and what these chain these chains we have talked earlier right uh, that uh, musing long chain with uh, uh, oligosaccharides and all carbohydrates now this musing chain is a uh, biological mechanism of our body which is already present in the saliva okay now to Okay, we'll talk it later. So this, so just see in general way. So, so this is a drug. So drug with polymeric chain. This is a synthetic or non a different type of polymeric chain. And uh, what stages they are going through? We'll see one by one. The first stage, see here, first stage, what is it is written as wetting and swelling of the polymer, which is known as, also known as contact state, right? So what it does is it wets the surface, right? So once the drug goes in or enters into the mouth with the help of the mucus present in the mouth which is having 95 percent this 95 percent of water so what they will do they will try to wet your drug particle or the dosage form see see here this diagram you can see here so uh, before it was in a smaller size when it uh, got wetted through the water present in the mucus it got swelled right so this is the first stage now once it got swollen what it goes to the next stage this next stage we can see as interpretation between the polymer chain and the mucosal membrane now what it means is you see here the first stage uh, after getting swollen this one is your drug material this is your mucous membrane, right? Now, slowly, slowly, it, the polymers present in this one. See, the polymers present in the drug material and the mucin chain present in the mucous membrane will try to interact with each other and make a bond, right? It will try to connect with each other like this. So, this part is clearly called as adhesion or sticking to the mucous membrane okay so what is making this drug to 
stick with the mucous membrane first thing is we know the biological nature of the mucous membrane having mucin chain long chain so we make in the same way by using different polymers in your drug so that long chain will try to entangle right you the word you can understand is entangle with this mucin chain this mucin chain and then they will try to adhere see now you can see right they will try to adhere here right so this is three stage mechanism so the third stage is called as formation of bonds between the entangled chains okay clear i think it's very clear so this is a mechanism so let's move on to the next topic which is theories of mucus adhesion so several theories have been proposed to explain the fundamental mechanism of adhesion now there are various theories with different equation okay so there are different theories what are the theories so first one we are going to learn as wetting theory second one is diffusion theory fracture theory and adsorption theory right so four theories are there i'll try to cover it as soon as possible so first one we'll go as wetting theory so what is wetting wetting is again uh, so the, this wetting term is very critical here okay well okay let's see so I'll, just, I'll read the definition let's see wetting theory is predominantly applicable to liquid bioadhesive systems and analyzes adhesive and contact behavior in terms of the ability of a liquid or a paste to spread over a biological system oh i don't think anybody understood leave it this wetting theory is applicable only for liquid bioadhesive systems okay so now if i am trying to prove my mechanism using solid buccal drug delivery then this theory will not prove it this theory is only applicable if my system is in a liquid form okay so clearly it says that now wetting theory obviously wetting means it should be related with liquid dosage form okay and analyzes adhesive and contact behavior okay now what is this contact behavior or contact angle this is very related to wetting okay so what is wetting i'll tell you we in terms of ability of liquid phase spread spread over the biological system okay now wetting theory calculates the how wetting can be defined so wetting can be defined by different terms one of the term is this contact angle degree of angle that has to be measured so that measurement is related to wetting of a substances towards the biological membrane okay now we'll go to this work done okay so the work done is related to surface tension so wetting is related to what contact angle work done is related to surface tension of both adhesion and the substrate okay so this equation i'll explain you if you write it's good but I, some some of the universities they actually they ask a direct question about this that is theory of mucus adhesion theory of adhesion so this that's why i wanted to cover this with small kind of a equation okay this equation i have gathered from article and also this is available in different standard books which i have also read so what it says that this wa which is termed as where w is is the specific thermodynamic work of adhesion okay this is work of adhesion so adhesion is that how much or how much amount of adhesion or the contact or the penetration of your drug material in the muco adhesion muco layer has happened that is calculated by work done this work done of adhesion which is given as a is equal to sigma b which represents surface tension of the bioadhesive polymer that means whatever drugs polymer it is used that surface tension plus 
the surface tension sigma t of the substrate in the sense where it is going to attach that means your mucosal layer and interfacial tension which is minus sigma b okay so this small equation not so critical okay if you can remember okay you know it's okay just remember the concept of what is wetting theory okay so wetting is always applicable for liquid dosage form specifically related to buccal reliability please understand not tablet for oral dosage so this is only for buccal reliability okay now what is wetting wetting is very related to what contact angle okay now we'll see what is contact angle now so this this picture will show you how or what is the contact angle so you can see here what this angle is okay and this liquid this liquid this liquid is generally what it is this liquid is considered as the drug substance okay or the dosage form now let's see that uh, angle okay so how they have presented with the equation is sigma ta okay ta this vector okay and is equal to sigma bt that means this vector plus ba sigma bf cos theta okay now where this theta angle theta angle okay we are talking about contact angle just remember here we are talking about contact angle which is related to wetting that's why the theory is totally still called as wetting theory so how wetting is going to happen is totally based on contact angle okay so this theta is the angle of contact this is contact angle right now how it will uh, affect the wetting that i will tell you okay so these suppose the sigma bt the surface tension between this tissue this tissue and polymer this polymer right and uh, sigma ba is the surface tension between polymer and air this polymer and air is this one sigma ba and sigma ta this one is surface tension between tissue and air anyway tissue and air okay angle of contact that is theta this theta this angle if it is greater than 0 right so this angle if this angle if this angle right so if this angle moves towards this side what it will be obviously it will sorry it is not so sorry wait okay what it will be like if this angle right now see this angle is 90 degree right now you can say this is 90 degree if the theta is greater than zero so this side it is zero degree but this side what it is says that greater than zero that it can be 25 45 50 53 54 90 okay then the wetting will be incomplete okay so as the angle increases that means this contact angle increases the wetting will also decrease that means inversely proportional more the contact angle less is the wetting less is the adhesion right clear i guess clear so suppose if it is more than 90 then again the wetting will be more incomplete as compared to if the angle is 25 degree right suppose if it is this one if this vector is 45 degree right and uh, suppose if if the wetting starts with zero degree okay so the wetting is more prominent in this zero degree right and if we go to 45 degree so wetting will be 
lesser than 0 degree right and if the angle exceeds from 45 to 90 degrees obviously the wetting would be incomplete as compared to 45 degree and as compared to 0 degree so 0 degree the completion of wetting is more it's very good adhesion is good but as it increases from 0 degree to so it will start to become incomplete then adhesion will also become incomplete now this one more diagram i'll show you so see this uh, what this uh, line says that then theta will approach zero and wetting will be complete okay so when your angle will go to zero degree then it is said as wetting is completed so <clears throat> as wetting is completed that clearly shows that that the adhesion is more that proves that this wetting theory with the mechanism of action okay how this theory is proving the mechanism that it is going to wet more then it will with the contact angle how much is the contact angle? the that much will be the wetting that much will be the spreading and that much will be the adhesion okay so you can see what is the angle it's not 90 it's 180 right so you see how much or how much amount of liquid this circle is able to contact with this circle see it's very less right it's, it's only this much that means this uh, this what it says that if the contact angle if it is more right it is more right because it is more than zero degree it is 180 degree so the adhesion it will be very less obviously you can see here the contact angle is 180 degree but it's very less amount of contact has been made with the mucosal membrane so it's very less now when this mucous membrane this contact angle increases with 180 degree or sorry decreases to from uh, 180 to how much i can say as 120 degree then see how much contact has been made and that means if contact angle comes nearer to zero degree the adhesion will be more now see if uh, it has gone below 90 degree now it is it can be said as 45 degree right see now how much contact the liquid has made that means the adhesion is more if the contact angle is less than or near to zero degree or zero degree and if it increases above zero degree then the wetting will be less diffusion adhesion. what is diffusion so what is diffusion diffusion is something which is called as when any substance which crosses our semi-permeable membrane in case here it is our mucosal membrane so from a higher concentration to lower concentration is diffusion okay so this theory is really so first one was wetting through wetting they have explained how mechanism is going to take place and from here they have termed as diffusion how diffusion theory is going to prove that this is a mechanism how the buccal drug delivery is going to pass through the membrane so the essence of this theory is that the chain of the adhesive and the substrate what is adhesive adhesive is your drug substance okay so this one is your drug substance this one is your membrane that is semi permeable membrane they have considered it now the red one is the mucosal layer okay so the essence that means the amount of the theory the main concept of this theory is that the chain of the adhesive and that means your drug substance adhesive polymers and the substrate that means you may say interpenetrate that means they interact they they try to bond with each other and to sufficient depth okay so this one is considered or this one is proved with the term as depth earlier we understood with wetting with the term as uh, contact angle now here the diffusion amount of diffusion is uh, proved by um, the depth of 
interpenetration between this two okay that means when this two bonds how much means how much deeply it is going to bond with each other it's defined as diffusion okay so the mean diffusion depth of the bio is called what it means s so this mean diffusion the depth is defined by s we represent it as this root under 2t d so what is d here t is obviously time how much time it is taking to penetrate into the system okay or to interact with how much depth is going to interact with respect to time so d what is d d is a diffusion coefficient which is also given as l square by db okay which l represent the interpenetrating depth that means uh, the distance i guess and uh, db is a diffusion coefficient okay now the third one is the fracture theory fracture with the name only you can understand fracture means breakage or uh, you know broken surface something like that okay fracture can you understand by fracture that is so fracture theory so this theory is great for force now the key term from here is force okay first one was contact angle second one with the diffusion was uh, depth and the third one fracture is force so how much force required to separate the two surface after adhesion okay so how much force is required to break to fracture it the surface okay when the drug is going to enter into the membrane so they are considering that they are breaking they are fracturing the membrane like hypothetically they are imagining this theory that this could be the possible mechanism okay this is to their possible reason of this mechanism okay so they the, how much force is required to break the surface and after adhesion okay the fracture strength is equivalent to adhesive strength through the following question what is it this is sigma sigma is equal to this e that is capital e which is called as young modulus of elasticity okay and uh, e into e to the divided by capital l which is critical track length so this is a simple equation if you can remember this and so the picture says it all what is that this uh, muco adhesive device which device which they have written with the diagram so it says as muco adhesive so this one is your drug material okay now here you can see this part they have it has fractured right it has shown that it has cracked so now fracture at the hydrated layer of the device so this is your drug material this is your mucous membrane now both sides there will be a fracture so that amount of fracture is considered that this can be the possible me mechanism the reason for this mechanism so this fracture or what we is say as the force required to fracture this both surface then that fracture will define that how much adhesion has taken place okay that's it so now the last one is adsorption what is adsorption absorption you know that so what is absorption this particular diagram what it says that this one this first one the first one this diagram so absorb first we will say absorb absorption very simple that when the same permeable membrane it acts where the particle does not stick to it okay it directly passes from higher concentration to lower concentration is called absorption okay now adsorption this adsorption is when the surface inter the surface interface or the membrane it's in that form where it go it has to be adhere or it has to get stuck stick see the particle stick to the surface on the opposite side. so this part absorption the particle will not stick it will directly pass okay whole material pass from one pl one place to another place okay so this is the difference between absorption and adsorption okay i think it's clear then uh, 
what is our theory that is adsorption theory so now we understood that adsorption what is that according to adsorption theory after an in initial contact between two cells it is adhere because now the adsorption theory how it is going to define is why the material is going to adsorb is because of surface force acting between the chemical structures now this adsorption now the key term what this what is the key term here the previous one was force and now they are here why adsorption is taking place by chemical structure of the two cells this is the reason for this adsorption theory okay now two types of chemical bonds can be seen with respect to adsorption one 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 is primary chemical bonds of covalent nature okay primary covalent which are undesirable environments and their highest form may be so primary chemical bond secondary chemical bond so which having different force of attraction including electrostatic force van der waals force and rosen and so that there's nothing much more deep to understand here because these are hypothetical theory which defines the mechanism okay just to understand the concept that what adsorption theory and what are the key elements to define adsorption wetting theory and uh, diffusion theory and fact theory okay right okay then then we will go for the so now when we are trying to design our drug for our mucous membrane that means buccal tissue what that each individual component should be present on the whole to make as a dosage form so the first one obviously drug substance okay now this also has some criteria okay any drug substance cannot be made to pass through buccal duct or semi permeable that is mucosal membrane it cannot be made to pass okay so specific uh criteria are there for drug substances so the suitable active pharmaceutical ingredients or the drug substances should be selected on the basis of their kinetic properties kinetic properties in the sense adm that is adsorb sorry absorption diffusion metabolism and excretion so that kinetic properties the drug should be having following characteristics that is one time dose of a drug should be small whenever you are going to give any of the drug material through buccal the dose should be less than 25 ml it should not exceed suppose paracetamol if it is 650 even 100 ml it cannot be given to a system through your mouth because uh there are a lot of problems which can take place because 100 mg is a lot of amount and the effect of paracetamol it is analgesic and antipyretic so it is a little stronger drug or uh, it has a lot of side effects so if we give directly through the system okay so it has to be passed through your oral cavity only okay now the drug should have should be having short biological half life it should not so the drug which is having a half life of suppose 48 hours when which i have done my project like anti cancer that is having 48 hours of half life so i cannot prefer my drug to be given through like a uh, buccal system there are a lot of problems which can take place okay so the drug showing first pass metabolism can be used for buccal delivery according to the book okay so some of the key points so the components the first component will be drug delivery substance now the second component is polymers now the most important part of this buccal delivery is your polymers because we understood the concept how the adhesion is taking place right with structure of the mucin the mucin is having long chain so that long chain alone can not 
help your drug to adhere, right? So we have to put something in that dosage form that will form an interaction with that mucin chain. So the first or the best used thing is this polymers. Now bioadhesive polymers plays a major role. In, in general, adhesive polymers source will be natural, synthetic, water soluble, water it's a charge so any kind of a polymers can be used depending upon what is the aim of the drug or what is the characteristic of the drug whole thing we have to see so ideal polymers for buccal system should have what it should be inert that means should not have that kind of a compatible that means it should not have that kind of a chemical property that it should affect your biologic system your drug system okay and the polymers and its degraded product should be non-toxic this is the most important any polymers used it shouldn't be not toxic that it will harm your biological system okay it should adhere quickly obviously the addition property should be good so that means we'll see a lot of things we have to see that means its property how much or what is the molecular nature of it is and what are the molecular weight and a lot of things we have to see and uh, to moist tissue surface and possess some side effects okay now these are the things these are the materials which can be used to write in your examination that so natural synthetic water soluble water insoluble cationic anionic non-ionic and all these are examples of what Vulnerable. So depending upon the uh, experiment or the project, this kind of a polymers can be used. Backing membrane is used for formulation. So backing membrane is that substances which are made to stick at the back of your dosage form so that your drug should always follow one direction and flow. Okay. Sometimes you see best example is when you have a throat problem, coughing, there is one lozenge which is used. Okay. So that lozen when you take through your buckle, it will stick to the buckle, but it doesn't have any uh, layer at the back of the lozen. Okay, so the lozen will always try to release from all the direction. Okay, so the drug, especially, okay, drug has to pass through your membrane only. So what this dosage has made that they have not allowed the passage of drug from the back side of your membrane. Sorry, backside of your dosage form. It has always allowed this has made in a way that the drug will only pass through one direction. That is why the backing membrane is being used. The backing membrane is used for the formulation should be impermeable to drug as well as mucus. So it should be having that characteristics that it that the drug should not go through the membrane and also any mucus from outside surface should not come inside. Okay, so it will, what it will help, it will help the unnecessary drug loss from the all sides of it. Okay, but it is used for the preparation back in membrane should be inert, sort of in some same thing. Okay, low water solubility, the commonly used materials is ethyl. Ethyl cellulose is the most excellent polymers used for back in membrane, even for transdermal drug uses. Carbopol, sodium argent, HPMC. Yeah, HPC also they have used then uh, polycarbophen but it has cellulose which I have read from many articles and videos so I have seen that this is the excellent materials used then uh, penetration and important for a drug which uh, having low solubility or low permeability okay so this pen penetration enhancer has only one specific work to do is to enhance the penetration if your drug material, if your polymer, anything if the dosage form is not allowing your substance to pass through the membrane. So substance facilitate penetration through the buccal mucosa as referenced penin permeation enhancer or penetration enhancers, selection of the enhancers and its efficacy. PKC depends on physical chemical properties of the drugs which is and later okay should be safe non-toxic all those characteristics 
one of the major disadvantages associated with the buckle is low flux that means uh, there are some of the disadvantages in which uh, some of the doses might will be like that will not penetrate easily these are the major examples what it is a surfactant surfactant comes under penetration so okay what is anionic then cationic then bile salts fatty acid cyclotextrin cyclotextrin is one of the most amazing substance again to enhance your drug penetration we can say as or increase the solubility in any acids then mechanism penetration enhancer by three way mainly they acts okay the first one is changing mucus rheology rheology means the flow of liquid right so how it is going to act by changing the flowing property of a liquid. Mucus forms viscolactic layer, so of varying thickness, the effect that affects the drug absorption. Okay, so now we're covering the mucus into the so some permission enhancer acts by reducing. So this permission enhancer they act by reducing the viscosity, right? Reducing viscosity of the mucus and saliva overcomes this barrier. Now the second one is increase in the fluidity of the lipid barrier. Okay, so the absorption through the buccal mucus intestinal route. Some enhancer disturb the intestinal lipid packing by interacting with either lipid or protein company. And third way by the third mechanism by which they are enhancing is enzymatic barrier, overcoming enzymatic. The buccal formation enhancer acts by inhibiting the various peptidase and protease present. So these are some of the enzymes so they interact with it and they overcome this barrier okay that's it just simple way no need to go in deep into this thing so different types of myco adhesive dosage form this i will show with one article that will be much more better so just general thing which i have tried to recollect from here one is buckel which is so we are focusing mainly on what buckel is so delivery how so this muco adhesive means any layer right buccal also there is muco sieve layer nasal also, also ocular also vaginal rectum anywhere you can see there is a muco sieve layer so especially for buccal what the tablets they have used is theophylline okay multiple polymers they have used then ointments they have made that is benzonicotinate multiple polymers benzidamine cytosine derivative gel then patches Mikona Zone. Okay. So thank you for this. Thank you. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope you are not bored. That's it. With this presentation which I made. So these are the reference which I saw, which I have looked for preparing this presentation. I'll post some of the links which I can which I have which you can also download link okay so let's go to what I wanted to teach everyone with one or two articles okay let's see very quickly what uh, so this article these all articles which I have referred okay so Miko it is a drug trade system this is uh, Brazilian Journal of Pharmaceutical Science when 2010 okay and mechanism we have covered then uh, the theories we have seen then what else mechanism then materials whatever the materials used there that also we have seen then these are the general evaluation techniques okay much more in detail if anybody wants it to for your knowledge purpose, that's it. Then comes mm, this part, what it is as classification of the endocrine process, which we understood that buckle tablets, right? That's the buckle tablets. What is the advantage of buckle tablet? Is the advantage then then uh, semi solid dosage form? So if anybody is having difficulty with this if anybody tries to read this thing and finds any difficulty you can ask me i'll try to explain it this one also 
this one I'll try to post it if anybody needs it okay then uh, evaluation techniques okay now this what I wanted to show us so this is what I wanted to show you yeah this one so this is the list of buccal mucoadhesive drug dip system okay so these are the dosage form first there are a lot of doses. This one is majorly for people who, who want to write well in exams. So these examples will uh, make your answer very beautiful, right? With uh, your content more, con nobody is going to read that much of content. They will try to search for examples, some tables, some diagrams. Okay, so these are some thing to support your answers. And also for general knowledge also. So mu by muco adhesive, buco adhesive disc. So, uh, what are the doses from different doses forms they have used with what drug they have used? Okay, this fluconazole. Fluconazole is again uh, what it is. It is uh, antifungal drug. So polymers, whatever polymers they have used. Okay, then with the reference they have also mentioned. Then uh, nystatin. All these statins are channel and blockers. Then domperidone again. This antiemetic tablets then fluconazole again they have used in films also then uh, glipizide then insulin again for diabetic patient nicotine and again patches also they have used the same thing atenolol beta blockers oxytocin patches they have used channel blockers yeah so diclofenac sodium in form of gels they have used. Now commercially available buckle because of the jersey is by this brand name we can see Actic, Fentanyl, Citrate, Lozenges they have used. Then some other, that's it, that's all. Prevention and treatment are angina, Ectodase, Nitroglycerin, tablets they have used okay, with the brand name of Nitrostat. Okay, so this is one of the examples which I wanted to show you. anybody wants. Let's take a screenshot. That's it. Then again, patented buckle films. These are all patents. So this article will be much more helpful. Okay. So that is all which I can give information on this buckle drug label system. I hope you all like it, not get bored. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's see how well it goes further. If anybody wants any topic on their choice, I'll try my best if you want, but related to pharmaceutics only. Okay, or pharmacy. Same thing. Just if you like it, subscribe it, hit like, and see you. Yeah, see you with the next new topic. Okay, take care. Bye bye.